Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? You must know just about everything that there is to know about this place. See, si. I have lived my whole life here in the service of the Divas Conchelos. Do you know of a well anywhere around here? A well? Si, senor. This used to be a fortified villa. How can you last a siege without water? Great. So where is it? How should I know? The well was covered over in the last century. It was dangerous, you see. And you have no idea where it was? None. It was hidden even before my grandfather's time. Well, you must have a vague idea of where the well is. It must have been in the old house's courtyard, so that would put it around here. Here? Okay. Now, how do we find it? There might be a way. Let me think about it. Any ideas yet? We are looking for a source of water, see? Yes. For generations, the Spanish country folk have had a secret way of locating water, even if it is meters beneath the ground. Ah, you're not talking about water dousing, are you? Eh? You know, you get a stick and walk around until the stick twitches and dig there. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, I think most of the planet has. Okay, let's get a stick. Uno momento. It must be a special stick. A Y of hazel. Right. Do you have any hazel trees? See, si. Here. That is hazel. I went over to find a suitable stick. I don't believe it. There wasn't a single usable Y-shaped branch on the whole damn thing. I went over to find a suitable stick. Aha! Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Well, I got my divining rod. Now what? Simplicity itself, senor. Hold the wand at the upper ends of the Y. Apply a little tension with your wrists so that the slightest movement of the wand's tip is clear and walk slowly and steadily over the area. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> we'll find this well in no time. Senor Stobart, you've, you've found something. This is it. This is where we find the secret of the Templars, hidden here for hundreds of years, lost from the sight of man until now. The mystery is revealed. It's a tin can. I've been walking up and down with a twig in my hands, looking for a tin can. It had water in it. That's what the dowsing stick must have detected. I'd have to check with an archaeologist, but I don't think the Templars left that. In truth, Senor Stobart, 
the lawn was laid many, many years ago. This can could date back to the Napoleonic Wars. Get rid of it and I'll try it again. Lopez threw the can away. It seemed to fall an awfully long way. The splash at the end confirmed what we both suspected. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It has been here all the time. All those years and nobody found it. Stood Marveling at the secrets all around us. I could have fallen down that. The well had been lost for decades at least. The air was cool after the noon sun, but that's not what gave me goosebumps. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. From a distance, the lion's head had been impressive. Close up, it was frightening. Hey, one of the fangs is a separate piece. I could hear the sound of a lot of stone moving, and I knew I was in danger. <laughs> oh, very funny, you psychos! Senior Stobar! Senior Stobar! Are you all right? It's okay, Lopez, I'm fine! Hey, susto, mira dada! You gave me a scare! Nice try, Templars. I wish that I had Leary's flashlight now. It was too dark to see and I had to rely on touch. It just felt like a pitted stone wall. I'd almost been killed for the sake of a red herring. I wish that I had Leary. It was too dark to see and I had to rely it just felt like a... I'd almost... Sometime in antiquity, there'd been a rock slide. Big ones. I wished I'd had a hard hat. It was a long way down. The brilliant midday sun shone almost directly down the shaft, and I still couldn't see the water. I realized I could use the mirror to reflect the light from above. There, in the middle of the door, I could see some kind of socket. It looked like this wasn't quite the dead end it seemed. I slid the stone key into the lock. There were buttons that turned the dials.
I must have made a mistake. The lock spun back to neutral and nearly took my fingers off. I was going to have to start from scratch again. I heard the sounds of the lock moving. Either that or the wall was going to come down on my head. Oh, not another mistake. <laughs> 